This is another set of student data. So I asked students how they look at their fingernails. So if someone asked them how to check their fingernails, do they hold it out flat in front of them or do they bend, fold their fingers over and turn them towards them? So that's the same, flat and folded. And I also asked their gender. So there's a hypothesis that men and women look at their fingernails in different ways. So women have a preponderance of looking at them flat whereas men prefer to look at them folded. So I wanted to test out whether that was what was actually happening. So this is an example of a special form of cross tabulation which has just one, where it has a pair, two columns and two rows. So a pair of rows which correspond to the two genders and it's got two possible outcomes, folded and flat. Now this is important because it looks like the standard table that you get in epidemiology. So if you're interested in that sort of uh, data, you're going to do this sort of analysis very often. So here you go to analyze, descriptive statistics, cross tabulations, exactly as I did for a more complicated data set where I had more rows and columns. So here, my rows are going to be gender, how do you check your fingernails is going to be in the columns. The general rule is the thing that is the independent variable goes on the rows and the dependent variable goes in the columns. So one is the cause and one is the effect. So gender is causing people to change the way they look at their fingernails. Uh, I'm going to click on one other thing just to show that you can calculate the odds ratio as well. So if you go to statistics and click on risk, then you can calculate uh, the odds ratio and its confidence interval. I press OK. So now I end up with a two by two chart. So it's three men, check it flat, 32, check it folded, 39 women, check it flat, 66 collected folded. Now, this is a bit difficult to see the percentages and the proportions because of the big difference between the two genders. Although, from the odds ratio, I can see that there's a difference between the two genders, uh, in which is about a six-fold change. So one gender is six times more likely than the other to view their fingernails flat. But it would be better if I'd done percentages here to make that clearer. If I go back to analyze descriptive statistics and this time I click on cells and I do the percentages by row, that will allow me to compare the percentages of men that look at them flat and look at them folded compared to the percentage of women that look at them flat and look at them folded. Now if I do continue, uh, okay, this time because I've already calculated that and press OK. So this is a clearer table to see. 8.6% of men look at it flat compared to 37.1% of women. 91% of men look at their fingernails folded compared to 62.9% of women. So while men and women can check in either way, and there's a preference actually for folded rather than flat, there is a difference between men and women in that men almost never check their fingernails flat 